Hey, this is uh, Amps Are Easy for uh, another one of those WNDC editions. And uh, I just want to get some more things off my mind, man, right now. Right now, we're going through a whole lot of change. Got things going on in Haiti. We got things going on uh, right now in the world. You know, and it's 365 days, man. Exactly, 365 days in America, a black guy, because that's what they called him, uh, made his second speech. The first one he made in Germany to the world, and then he came back and he said it to us. You know, hey, welcome to this new world, and uh, may I take your order? And I'm not going to be no run over. I'm not from these other people in the past, and this is not your your grandmother's existence anymore in this world. Um, we now have grown to become genetic structures of people all over the world. And I mean like the blood that flows through my, blame, my veins has more DNA of people who don't understand what I'm saying while I'm talking <laughs> than uh, the people who care to figure out <coughs> what the hell am I smoking? <coughs> Anywho, <coughs> I digress to get this off my chest. Uh, new world order. Everybody wants to talk bullshit about it, and we're all living in it. And strangely enough, the hardest thing is not getting the memo soon enough because I know right now I can sit from New World Order Central and see a whole lot of unity and a whole lot of... Uh, Reality to be coming, but for some strange reason, you know, anytime you try to tell a friend, they start running because they can't seem to quite understand that the, you know, earth and the sun is changing. Everything is changing. It's when the moon is in the seventh house and Jupiter aligns with Mars. Well, that shit is going on already. It's already done. This is the crap that, that, that Nostradamus was afraid of. And everybody else who said that. This is the stuff that was going on right at the point that the, the Aztecs and, and, and the Mayans were going, well, shoot, I'll tell you what, after this point, we're going to be in there. And I'll be good and goddamn if they ain't here too. I mean, look around at our population. And speaking of being Spanish or Haitian, now we're sitting back and we're looking at people that are not quite understanding what's going on now. And I can't even believe that the country of Seagal just decided to all of a sudden say, we're going to be nice to you black people in Haiti, and y'all can come over here and we'll give you your own land. Well, why the fuck you do that before then? Strangely enough, there's some more things going on in this world that no matter who you are, you know, uh, <coughs> this really ain't personal. It's not. You know, we're actually having to grow into a whole new world, you know, and in its order. And strangely enough, somewhere in that, you have to find you, and I have to find me, and we have to find our way of living together in this planet. Now, with all that being said, you know, I uh, gave my money to, uh, to uh, Wyclef for the uh, Haiti thing because Wyclef was the only person that was able to get past the gangs when the UN couldn't take him in there. You know, to do all of that. Now, he's going down there to help Haiti. He's not going down there to build Port-au-Prince. Now, see, that's something that's going on. A lot of people seem to have uh, understand. There's a lot of things going on. And see, right now, they got to handle Port-au-Prince. But in the meantime, you know, we all donated to Haiti. So with that being said, you know, you got to understand what's going on. Not only out in the world, but what's going on in your head. You see what I'm saying? Because as we sit here and celebrate the day that we realize that Martin Luther King is dead, but he didn't die for nothing. Um, it's also Muhammad Ali's birthday and some old stuff. But it's also 2010. And uh, we're in a whole different reality now. And somehow or another, we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do with this reality. Now, I don't know what you're going to do with it. But I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to say here, <laughs> welcome to the New World Order. May I take your order? That'll be oh, 20 Ameros. <laughs> now, 
<sighs> a lot going on out here with this whole King Day thing. Uh, what's his name? Uh, um, what's his name? Uh, Ray Rayard. I call him Raynard. Uh, and I'm sure a whole lot of people, country people, used to call him Raynard. What's his name? Uh, the dude. Bay Bayard. 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 What? Rustin. Bayard Rustin. I like to shout out to all of my uh, black people who are sexually free enough to uh, respect people like you know the gay community. Um, the bi community, the kinky community, because um, all of that came from the same civil rights that, you know, all of everything else came from. I mean, we all woke up. This wasn't about black people. I, I don't care how many people want to bitch and moan about the civil rights movement. Everybody woke up. Everybody. And now all of a sudden we're sitting here and people are sitting around here going, oh, I don't want to talk about uh, the Ruskin guy. Or the March on Washington, or our gay rights, or this, that, and the other, and all this other stuff. And I'm going, yeah, y'all yeah, don't want to talk about how, you know, I mean, a lot of people didn't quite understand that, you know, that's Ruskin guy, and a lot of other people like him. There were whites, there were Jews, but they were also sexually um, unique. They were, they were not just, you know, your regular. Uh, you know, God helping W N double A C P holders or something like that. It's, I'm sorry, that was a bad joke. Didn't work, did it? Um, they were different. They had their own kinks and this, that, and the other. And better, better yet, they were powerful in whom they are because they supported something that was so much more greater than themselves because they knew what it felt like not being allowed to be an individual, just like everybody else. Now. That's what Mr. Ruskin was all about, as, as well as a lot of other people. Now, some of these people, now, I found it kind of interesting because the dude was black, he was a Quaker, and he was like communist, and he was gay. And I was like, wow, that's cool. And the dude came out with, like, the first Afro I heard, you know. Now, all those things might sound kind of, you know, like not very important to you. But um, actually, I find it to be kind of fly. You know, because, you know, that's what America is. We're fly now, like the flag flying. We, 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 we're, we're there now. We're not, we're not homophobic. We're not, uh, we're not anti-Semitic. We're not, um, haters. We're motivators. You know, we are the world. <laughs> okay. Let's not play with this shit now. I mean, this is the new world and this is the order in which we live now. It's that simple. Everybody else made it words. This is reality. <laughs> and you're living in it. And everybody else is scared to get up and do something about it because you can't. You could rather love it or sit your ass back down and die. I'm Alpha Master Pimp, sir, easy. Uh, active, uh, polydominant in the BDSM community and some more shit. <laughs> And uh, I like to wish all of y'all positive energy and enlightenment. And that's it.